This may seem like an odd way to hook a, a plastic worm, but boy does it catch fish. Stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. I'm here with John Henry. John Henry, you're the distributor of the Jersey rig, is that correct? That's correct, yeah. All right, John. Nice to see you. We're gonna be fishing today on a lake using the Jersey rig. Mm hmm And you invited me up because you want to tell, you show me how to catch fish on this thing. Right. Give us a little background about the Jersey rig. Okay, basically uh, this was a lure that was uh, created by a uh, gentleman named Jeff Camarino. Uh, it was approximately uh, 15 to 20 years ago. Um, he was uh, fishing in a lake and uh, he observed a splashes of water uh, near a tree. So he wondered about it and, and uh, rolled his boat over there and saw that larvas from tree, mosquito larvas from tree or other larvas from tree had fallen into the water and that was uh, causing quite a bit of attraction to the fish. So. With that idea in hand, he, uh, over the years, he took different types of worms and cut it in different sections and uh, glued them. And uh, <laughs> So he really worked uh, a lot to get this thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it took him uh, several, several years to develop the lure. Mm -hmm. um, the important things are uh, the density of the, of the worm and the rate at which it falls because it keeps the bait in the striking zone much longer. This, does, this bait does fall so Yes, low. yes. I mean, if you don't have patience to use this bait, <laughs> Forget it, right? Forget it. But the good thing about this lure is once you figure out the strike zone where the fish are laying, and sometimes it's difficult to do that, mm -hmm. you, you know, you know. Um, so once you figure that out, you can kind of uh, keep that in mind and, and count to yourself how long it takes for the bait to fall. So if you know in eight to ten seconds it's going to get at the range that you want to fish at, you can kind of keep that in mind and for the rest of the water hopefully that's just count it down and, exactly. and just use it like All that. Right. Well, we're going to try to use these uh, jersey rigs and they, they come in some great colors too. Yeah. I really like some of these colors. Now I'm going to be fishing a, uh, what is it, gold? That's a gold color, right? A gold, with, like a gold flake mm -hmm. and then you're fishing a... Uh, I have a black, solid black. And it's just hooked with a, a 1-0 mm -hmm. that's uh, correct. hook, right? exposed hook. That's and, right. Uh, I tell you, the action is great. Yeah. I just love that action. I mean, and the the, the way it falls, like you said, that, right. that slow presentation right. has got to get a fish right. interested. Exactly. I'm interested in it, and <laughs> I'm on the other end of the hook. <laughs> All right, come on, let's, we're going to catch some fish. Okay, here. great. Well, what, what are some of the subtleties? of using a jersey rig? Well, basically you gotta, you gotta be really patient. That's, that's the only part of the Baptist lure. Uh, most of the time people will cast out their line and you know, reel it in and, and working in and constantly reeling it in. With this type of lure you have to let, let the lure do its action. What it's, what it's made to do is, is uh, imitate a larva that's fallen into the water. Mm -hmm. And when you, after you have let it sunk about uh, the level that you wanted the fish at, and this type of motion, the jerking motion, it jackknifes the lure back and forth. And uh, it creates a, an action that like a larva has fallen to the water and that's what really attracts the so fish. It's a real, a real, let me just get right here, a real slow method. It is a slow method. It's a patient method. Um, but I'll tell you what, it catches fish. It catches a lot of fish. 
got some right now. Even though we're fishing a bait with basically an exposed hook, you can really get it back into places, and, it, and it's fairly weedless. I'm, I'm yes. impressed with that. Let's see if we can get back in there. Show us how you can cast back up in there okay. under this tree. See what I could do here. There you go. And so you could just move it along just like that? Yeah, by fluttering it so that uh, you can get it away from the weeds. It's, it's very weedy to that. Coming back. Jeez. Well, if I can catch ten more of these, <laughs> make a giant fish out of it. How far? Do you fish this bait back to the boat? Do you fish it all the way back, or do you just twitch it a few times and then reel it back in and get back in the water with it? Well, I guess that would probably depend on where the fish are laying. If I notice that most of the strikes are coming from in the weed pads, mm -hmm. but uh, so you'll get you'll get fish that will actually follow it out, or yes, you'll get fish oh that, yeah, oh yeah, they'll so they'll actually follow it out, so and it's uh, not just a, a real quick presentation. No, bait, no, no, and then back and then back in the water. Right, quite often uh, the lure is almost back to the boat before the fish actually strikes it because they have a curiosity as to what, what it is exactly. Yeah, well, I tell you, they like that slow fall because it just, mm -hmm. they can't stand it. I think that's what it is. They no, yeah, it. it's curiosity. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Nice. All right. Very nice. <laughs> very good, very good. Come here. Good fish, Bob. Oh, man. That was nice. Another nice little fish. Well, they are hooked right at the top of the yeah. mouth. Now, this fish here again. Right off the pads, just picked it up, and he was actually swimming with the fish. Just a little while ago, I lost a great big one. Yeah. We're going to go back. John promised me he's back there, right? That's, yeah, he's there. Put an X on the he's water. He's there. I'll be back for it. You go, don't tell your buddy. He had, he had yeah, yes, he did. <laughs> Come on, sweetheart. <laughs> Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Nice. Here we go. Oh. Oh, your mouth. All right. There's a nice Jersey rig bass. That's right. Again, just working it yeah. real slow. See how you notice how you grabbed it right in the middle? Right in the middle. Yeah. And uh, let me put pliers here. And it's just that one oh bait hook. Mm-hmm. It's right in there. That one looks like it's still got a little bit of... You got a little belly A little bit of eggs in there yeah. still, huh? All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very nice. Good fish. All right. Okay. They are just coming right out of the... Yes, yes, they are. Right to the pad. Yeah. Right at the edge, right? Right at the edge. Yeah. They just come right out. They're just laying back in there. Uh -huh. This is amazing. Because <laughs> he, an ordinary bait would have gone past that fish. Right. That's the whole thing. Uh, that, it's a slow presentation. Yeah, that, that's amazing. Another fish just hooked up top. 
but they're coming right on that slow fall. That's mm -hmm. amazing. That is amazing. All right, honey. Go back. Uh, John, we've been catching bass here, and, and, and numbers of them, let's mm -hmm. face it. But this is not only a, a bass bait. You can catch other fish, am I correct? Yes, that's, that's true. Uh, personal experience, I've gone out and caught the pickerel, crappy, sunny, smallmouth, uh, walleyes, and trout. So you can catch a variety of fish uh, with this lure. So it's just not... It's, 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 it's a big, it's a bass lure, but it, it's, right. it's a lure that you still can. You can well, go out and fish. I've caught actually uh, decent size and quantities of other other type of fish. Um, there were one one day uh, when I went out, and I must have caught 15, 12 crappy. Just using the same. Yeah, thing? yeah. Doing same same technique. Um, of course, it helps if you find a grouping of them and yeah, you know, just get on top yeah, of them, yeah. so you can really catch a right. bunch of fish. I know. Well, as a matter of fact. Uh, we had, I had a bite off because I know I know a pickerel or a pike came over there and just right, snapped, snapped your right line. Off. Right. It, it, I had a bite off. I'm going to go back for him though. He, he, <laughs> he got me here. Yeah. When would you use this bait? Is, is it an all year, all around bait, or basically a spring bait, a summer bait? Uh, what what time of year would you? Yeah, uh, I, I would hate to say that, uh, you know, bait is a panacea of all fishing conditions, but mm -hmm. literally this, this bait I've used uh, all year round. Um, I notice that it's most productive in the spawning seasons, uh, springtime. Uh, Midsummer it does die off a little bit. Um, but any type of condition in which there's fish are biting, uh, I notice that this pretty much keeps up with any lure out there or out does it in most yeah. cases. You can, I mean, look, I can see a bunch of fish over here. I'll just can't take two of them. Right. Uh, but now we talked about it. Do you consider this a finesse bait, or do you, or what is it? I, I, it's sort of like a finesse bait. Yeah. Because we're, we're fishing it on, on basically light tackle. Right. Uh, what kind of tackle do you recommend for this thing? Now, I'm using uh, a little heavier stick. But yeah. Um, you can use heavier sticks. Uh, I use, I prefer an ultra light because it's it's more, it's, it's a it's a fun type of fishing. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're catching three, four pounders, you know, you, you feel like you got a lunker on there. <laughs> so it's more fun. I use preferably between six to eight pound test line. And uh, it, it is a finesse type of fishing. Um, just by the lure concept itself, it's not designed to really look like a minnow or a shiner or anything like that. So. Basically, you, you want, you're trying to imitate a worm that falls into the water. Okay, John, we're here with the tackle box section. And usually in the tackle box section, we talk about the baits that we use during the day, crankbait, spinnerbait, mm -hmm. this kind of thing. We only have one bait to talk about today. That's right. <laughs> but it caught fish. Yes, it it's called the Jersey Rig. It's very simple to, to hook. Mm -hmm. It's pretty simple to use. Yeah. Let's just talk a little bit about, about the bait itself. Give me just a little bit of background about the bait. And uh, I know we talked a little bit earlier about it, but just give us another little bit of background about the bait. Well, it's, uh, it's a tube bait that's three and a half inches long. Um, it's been developed to have a uh, proper, proper density level, which allows it to uh, fall in a slow manner. Um, and it allows the lure to be kept in a strike zone pretty much, you know, in a okay. consistent area. I know and today that, when we were fishing off the pads and stuff like that, we could just let that right. let that fall. And one of the things that we talked about, today's conditions, I know we were, all, were pretty tough today. Yeah, it was. We had storms coming through. I know it's fish talk, but yeah, yeah. Um, 
we had a pretty tough day, but yet we caught fish. Yes, we did. We did. And I think we probably wouldn't have been as successful had we been using spinner baits, because I threw a buzz bait, I threw right. a spinner bait, yeah. uh, but this was bait to uh, use. Now, to hook it, I have a, a plain, let me just get this over here, bait hook. Yeah. This is not a worming hook. No. Nope. This is just a plain uh, one o. Oh, I I have an eagle claw on here. I don't. Do you recommend any other kind of hook? No. It, it just just that mm -hmm. particular size. Mm -hmm. Just a one o oh hook. Yeah. And I tie it directly to my line. Now I'm using. I think I'm probably using about eight pound test line. Okay. And that's about it, on a spinning rod. And I guess to really um, to do it right, you should use a spinning rod. I think that's yeah. probably. I can. I know you can cast it on a bait sure, caster. Yeah. But uh, the spinning rod really did seem to work. And uh, we worked it like a finesse bait. Now, I'm going to hook it. And basically, it's right through the middle mm -hmm. of the bait. Right. Just so it's even on both sides. Both sides, that's correct. And just let the barb stick out. Right. So it just looks like that. And then when it, when it actually falls in the water, if you bounce it just a little bit, you actually get to see what, what it does, exactly. what, except it's in a slower motion. Mm -hmm. Because of the, the drag on the water. Exactly, right. And that, let me just, if I can do that again, like like that. Exactly. That was just murder on the fish. That's just, that's the jackknifing <laughs> effect, that's right. And when, so you would just work just, just a little yeah. bit, mm -hmm. and boy, the fish just couldn't stand it. They yeah. really... When you when you give the the twitches basically it entices the fish and then when you allow it to drop, that's when they come in and right. and, and go after it. And one of the things, it was on the drop. It was when that bait the time, right. twitch it and then that when it paused, right. Then they they came that's and, it. and hit it. One thing that I, that I, I really want to mention because we we've been throwing in lily pads here and yeah. and uh, like a thick grass, was that even though this is an exposed hook. Mm -hmm. It's pretty weedless. Yeah. It is. We've been throwing it up, and even if we caught into pads, and I've thrown crankbaits and spinnerbaits and stuff mm -hmm. in the pads, and you have a hard time Getting here, just a little bit of a, a shake right. uh, got us out. Now, the color that we used today, the, 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 he allowed me to have this <laughs> color. I didn't have this color. Was What color do we call this? That's called gold ice. Gold ice. Right. This caught a lot of fish today. Yes. Uh, we, the conditions were... We thought we were going to have an overcast sky. Yeah, we did. But, <laughs> but oops. Turned out to be a uh, yeah. nice, bright, sunny day. Bright, sunny day. Yeah. One of the worst kind of conditions yeah. you want to fish. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But um, the, the gold ice was, was probably one of the better baits today. You, you threw... Uh, silver ice. Silver ice and, yes. a, and, a, and a black. And a black. And, it, and that this seems to produce the... Today, yeah. it produced well, the, the silver did pretty well also today. That's right. That's right, you did. Right. Um, I know you have a tons of colors here. How many colors do, do you really uh, produce in with the Jersey Rig? At the rig? current time, there's 14 different colors. 14 different colors. So if you're on a certain lake or you certain you have a lake color that you'd like, mm -hmm. you can probably match it up there. I know we have the chartreuse, you have a pearl, you have a black, a cinnamon, mm -hmm. a silver. So it basically works with any kind of bait fish coloring as, as far as what's going down in the lake that you're at. Yeah, often uh, uh, customers would call and ask, you know, well, I don't really know what colors to get, which color should I get, and we recommend, uh, this is like a, a medium color, which is a gold, it's kind of in between the real light, such as a pearl, or a black, solid black color, so mm -hmm. we recommend getting uh, from light to dark and something in between, okay. so that you have a variety of choices to throw out there in case if the dark color isn't hitting, mm -hmm. you might want to switch to a, a medium color, like you have the gold, and also the the pearl. Mm -hmm. So you have the, so you go through the, the mm -hmm. spectrum almost right. through a dark color, right. and then like a medium, uh -huh. and then the, and, the, and my favorite color is, a lot of pearl. people know is pearl. <laughs> I love to fish that. Now, one thing we didn't talk uh, about while we were fishing, but uh, we talked about the wind a little bit. It's hard mm -hmm. to fish this in the wind because the bait is so light right. that the wind really does affect the drag, drag on it. Correct. The other thing is that it's probably best to fish this in a lake situation. Not that you couldn't fish it in a river mm -hmm. situation, but it's probably in, at best in a lake right. situation. Yeah, because the current per se in a river would uh, affect the, the actual the action that you're trying to work right, the, the drop. Right, because so it would just pull it. Right. Now I'm sure that if you got into a cove or something off mm -hmm. a river or something like that, you could probably use it then sure. and, and it would work. I'm going to uh, 
be trying this down in tidal water where we can get back into some coves mm -hmm. and letting it fall. And I think I'll, uh, I'll ha probably have some, some good success with that. I'm sure you will. <laughs> yeah. Now, no, one thing that you also talked about is that if you want it to drop a little bit differently, you can stick a, a weight in there, a little hunk of a nail or something like that that we yeah. use on other, other types of uh, baits. This, um, this particular lure has been featured in the uh, Bassmasters magazine, uh, in fact, uh, three times already. And uh, one of the ways that it was featured was that to use a, uh, if you don't have a, uh, a pencil weight, you can actually use a nail, a real thin finishing type of nail, and stick it in at the, each end of the end of the tube, mm -hmm. and that will give it some weight to get it down, down faster. faster. But I don't think that you would per se want to put a sinker lure, or, or I mean a sinker uh, weight on. Or a split on. shot or anything and, like yeah, that. Yeah, because then it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to take away the action, action. of the lure itself. And that, and that is, the lure is the action. Exactly. The lure is the action. Right. I know you mentioned the Bassmasters. Uh, just recently, uh, a big tournament was won. Yeah. You, I, 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 in fact, I read it in Bass Masters, and I read it in Bass and Times, right. and then we had talked this morning right, right. about, uh, what was the fellow's name? Uh, Lee Bailey, and I believe he took a prize of $15,000 with it. Um, he mentioned in the ad that he did use other uh, lures, but uh, I think to finish off the tournament, and he got his big fish on the gold, on the jersey, gold, gold jersey rig, right? I know how to pick them, let me tell you. <laughs> so, it's a good tournament, and I'm... He is a sight fisherman, and this is a good sight fishing yeah. bait. So if you're, if you're a sight fisherman, you want to sight fish for bass, this has to be a killer because if you throw on a lizard or something like that, it goes right into the right. bed. This thing just slowly, and it just, it, just, it has it's to be. It's irresistible. Yeah, it has to be. Right? Yes, but like I said, especially if, if you know the lake, mm -hmm. you're familiar with the lake, and you know where the fish are holding, um, it's, it's dynamite lower to use. Yeah, it is. It's really good. John, I want to thank you. Thank you again. Okay, we had a good time. Yes. Jersey rigs, you got to try them. It looks crazy, but it works. Okay, now I know there's a, let's see, what was it? Was it that direction you said that the eight pounder was, that I was going to yes. catch? Was yeah. That way? Right that way, right. Okay, I'm going that way, and I'm going to catch myself okay. a big fish. All right, come on, let's go get this. Oh, boy. That's a big one. Come. Hey. Beautiful. Okay, buddy. Okay, good fishy. That's a nice size, huh? Jersey Rick does it again, Jersey son. Jersey Rick does it again. Did flash? No. Well, it's some fun fishing with this lure, isn't it? <laughs> Love it. Thank you. Tell your grandpa we're here. That was something. <laughs> All right. All right, here's another one. Again, hooked right at the top of the mouth. Well, like most fish were today. Jersey Rigs. It's a hot bait. Check it out on our website, www.dvoutdoors.com. John Henry, I want to thank you for fishing thank with you. me today. Appreciate Turn it. me on to this lure. Okay. If you want more information about Jersey Rigs, we're going to put up a number where you can get a hold of John. He also has a website. A website. Right. Yeah, tell me your website. It's uh, www. JerseyRigs.com. <laughs> and if you want more information, we'll put up the number, get a hold of them. They got all kinds of colors, and they catch fish. I'm going to catch a real big one in a minute. Hey, I'm Bob Murray. I'll see you again on Delaware Valley Outdoors. Bye, baby.